Well, hi everyone, and welcome back to the latest Jealous Craig in a North Market report. Talking to you back in January, we were talking about sustained growth throughout 2015. Well, I probably got that one a bit, little bit wrong. It's been the strongest real estate market we've seen, certainly in my 31 year history. And off the back of low interest rates, foreign investment, and a number of downsizes, there's certainly been some great activity in the inner North market. There's a number of different variables that have driven the market upwards, particularly in areas like Fitzroy, where you've seen growth of some 17%. A lot of families active and upgrading in the areas of Mooney Ponds, we've seen some increases of 16%. But downsizes in particular from the likes of Stonington and Burundara, moving back to the likes of the city of Yarra, Darabin and the inner city generally, have really added some momentum with local buyers looking to upgrade in the inner city. We've certainly seen price growth in the one and a half to two and a half million dollar segment. Indeed, it was probably the one to one and a half that was very popular last year. But we can see with those sorts of growth, the types of price range increases and so forth, where buyers have certainly concentrated on. Land in particular has really been in demand. Obviously, in terms of warehouse living, well, that's always ever popular. A recent sale in Bud Street, Collingwood of some 1.45 odd million dollars to an expatriate from Singapore who engaged an advocate. It was very interesting to see that six bidders fought that out, but obviously someone that had been looking in the market for some time for that type of property secured it. Another example of the burundara Stonington relationship was earlier this year where we saw a terrific result for a fully renovated single front of Brick Victorian at 79 O'Grady Street, would also sell on the 1.45 million versus a reserve in the 1.2 millions to a buyer downsizing from Baldwin. All of these sales, I guess, are evidence of the types of popularity of homes we've had not to mention that areas like Fitzroy, Lifton Hill, Northcote, it just goes to show you the popularity of certain properties when they do come up on the market. The interesting thing about spring is everyone obviously assumes that as soon as we hit spring, the market's gonna be full of property. Well, certainly at this stage, September numbers would suggest it's gonna be a steadier market. I think you'll certainly see the clearance rates hanging in the low 70s, albeit at Jealous Craig, we've certainly been hanging in there at the low 80s all year. But there's nothing to suggest at this early stage that that won't be sustained. I think 2016, well, that's the big question. I'm not, it's probably too early to call for me at this stage, but certainly from the point of view of planning for your sale, now's the time to be doing it. Speaking to one of your local Jealous Craig uh, sales consultants at any one of our offices, we're certainly here to help you. One of the great things about Jealous Craig in terms of having a 15 office network and a very, very well credentialed corporate marketing department is the amount of information that we can now get to you that's useful if you're either a buyer, seller, or even a landlord or tenant in the marketplace. Probably the best document that I've seen this company produce is known as our Inner North Report, which has come out in the last week or so. Coupled with that are our new suburb reports that we put out, which is an initiative we started in January. It was extremely popular, but if you're looking to get a specific market report on what's happening in your suburb alone, you can certainly go to one of our Jealous Craig offices or contact your local Jealous Craig consultant who'd be more than happy to provide that information for you. Well, thanks for tuning in today. On behalf of fellow directors John Morello, Mario Linetti, and the whole Jealous Craig in the North team, we look forward to helping you out this spring. Trust that you'll have some success and very much looking forward to updating you with these reports throughout later in the year and early next year. Thanks for tuning in.